Hi everyone, welcome to Carol's Art Room. I'm Carol, acrylic porn artist. So welcome, if you're new here. Today, in today's video, I'm going to do a bloom. I'm gonna do it in seven colors. Very pretty, colorful bloom. So I'm gonna use a yellow base color, and then my colors on top on a, a 10 by 10 canvas. And uh, I'm an administrator of a group on Facebook called Acrylic Pourings. My sister Susan King has started the group and she has asked um, everyone if they want to do any technique they want with sev the seven colors and it's posted on the group. So I'm just going to do a bloom. Um, I'm not in the contest to get mine on the top of the acrylic pourings group. I just want to show you an example and I hope it turns out right. I hope it turns out good. So uh, stick around and uh, check out our uh, Facebook group. Hi everyone. Okay, so I just poured my base paint down, which is this Beauty Tone eggshell white. I picked this up for $2 at the paint store. It was a mist tint, and it's a really pretty yellow. So I used it a few times, and it works pretty good. Okay. Pouring over an old canvas. All right, so I'm gonna show you my colors. So I have seven colors. This is Teal by Golden. It's the most opaque color of the colors that I'm using, so I'm putting it on the bottom. Usually I do a test to see how these colors go, but today I'm just going for it. So yeah, if you're on Facebook and you like watching the groups, the pouring paintings, my sister Susan King has a group called Acrylic Pourings. Go check it out. Okay, so now I have Ultramarine. This one's Ultramarine uh, Josonia. Runs off smoothly, leaves a mound, a bit of a mound. Okay, now I have my green. I just made up some of these paints, so I got a, a lot of air bubbles. So this one is um, Peridot Green Extreme Sheen with some um, light green mixed in Artist Loft. 
So I made this really pretty green. Seems a little thick. So I have a mixture of Josonia and water that I use to thin my paints. I just keep it in a little bottle. Okay, so now I'm going to use some yellow. And this is Josanya Deep Yellow. It's a good idea to let your paint sit for a while before you use them, but sometimes I just can't wait. Oops, I can take my torch. Some of them out. And now I've got some orange, and this is a mixture of golden orange. And I actually think it's Amsterdam orange and a bit of gold. This is a one I made up a while ago. All right, that's good enough. Now what have I got? I got red and purple. So I'll do purple next. This is a uh, Grumbacher Dioxysin purple. Almost out of it. It's a nice purple. All my recipes are in the description under the video.
want the colors all the way outside. And now I have some red. And this is <clears throat> this is a golden uh, pyro red. And the ultramarine was the golden also. Okay. Black cell activator. I always give it a good stir before I use it. I use my mini blower. Her fingers.
covering up my pants. Okay. All right, let's do this. Peacock cells in there. Oh, I don't need to spin it anymore. It is beautiful. And it always looks darker in the camera for some reason. There. Wow. The purple really blended in with the red. Cool, very cool. Bring in for a close up. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. There you go. Those are the colors that you can do whatever technique you want. And look how gorgeous they came out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications so when I do a new video, you'll be notified. Comment below, let me know what you think. I usually answer or reply to my comments. And then dried re results will be at the end. Bye. Have a good day.